I'm going to be leasing a new car in the next two months. Or should I buy it? What do you guys think? Comment in the comment section. What do you guys think? Should I buy it? Or should I lease it? What's up, guys? It's Coco. And today we are going to be trying out this new garlic knot pizza from Pizza Hut. <laughs> guys can you see these are the garlic um nuts right here new from pizza it says they're limited time it looks good marinara sauce comes with two i also got buffalo wings on the side over here six pieces and we'll dive on it we'll dive on that later how are you guys today i had raisin canes for breakfast by the way <laughs> so unhealthy but yeah let's try this out first and then let's talk about some stuff first bite Looks huge. Mm. Yes. I got onions, bacon, jalapeno, of course, mushrooms. And that's it. I didn't get much meat today. I cannot eat pizza without onions and mushrooms. Hmm. So good. All right, let's try the garlic knot. Oh, there's cheese inside too. So when you take the garlic knots off, there's cheese in the inside the garlic knots too. Dip it in marinara. Yum. I thought it was just like garlic flavored nuts. But there's cheese inside the nuts. 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 <laughs> mm. I love it. So good. Mmm. Again, they came in there and I was early, so I feel like it could be more well done, my crust. I keep doing that. I need to stop doing that. All right, what are we going to talk about today? I'm going to be having a new car in two months. My lease is going to be done in my car, so I need a new car. And I want a new nice car right now. Not that I don't have a nice car right now, but I need to start driving my one of my dream cars. Not like the dream, dream cars, Ferraris or anything like that, but steps, small steps to that, you know, like a Mercedes. Because I don't want to be one of those people. Okay, imagine this. You're driving around and you see a really nice car, like a Ferrari or a Porsche or a Lamborghini. You always see it's like a retired person, like an 85-year-old guy who's already retired because he bought the car nowadays. But it's like, I want to enjoy having nice cars while I'm young, you know what I mean? I don't want to like enjoy having a nice car when I'm like old and soggy and retired. You know what I mean? And you guys know me, I love changing things. Like, I like new things all the time. I hate commitments on anything. In air, any material thing, too. Mm. The garlic knots are so chewy because there's cheese inside. It's so melty. Mmm. I love that. Let's try the wings, you guys. 
the wings in Pizza Hut is always so, so good. They make it so good. It's big. It's crispy. It's always fresh. Love it. I know. Okay, here. So, what do you guys prefer when you're buying a car? You like to buy it or lease it? I know for a fact that it's just a preference. It's a preference. It doesn't really make... Well, it makes a difference, but I mean, it's just really... It's up to a person if he wants to buy a car or lease a car. This is Buffalo. Oh man, so good. It's fresh, it's crispy. I kind of have chapped lips. So the buffalo sauce is hurting my lips right now. Mmm. Oh. It's really, really dry right now in Minnesota. Because it's cold as hell. Leave in a comment section if you live in Minnesota. Cheers. So, you guys, I prefer leasing a car. I'm going to be leasing a new car in the next two months. Or should I buy it? What do you guys think? Comment in the comment section. What do you guys think? Should I buy it or should I lease it? I like leasing, personally. It's because I hate... having an old car it's because the difference is when you're leasing it's always a new car new model the only thing that you have to pay for the lease is the regular maintenance oil change rotation like that right your monthly fees might be expensive yes because it's new insurance is kind of on the high price too because it's new but for me it's all worth it it's because it's a new car you get to experience all the cars that you want to there's not much the main thing is for me is the maintenance Now here is my um story time for you. My first car was a secondhand car. Wings. So the secondhand car is like six thousand dollars because it's a, my first car. My dad talked me into it. It's your first car. You're gonna just get in an accident. Just get a cheaper one. Got a secondhand one. After a year of having it, it was always it always had like fixations. It was always just like it needed to be fixed. Something just needs to be fixed every time I go to like Firestone or like like an auto shop. Every time I go there and get a check, something's wrong with my car all the time. Because it's so old. I remember I spent so much money in that used car for fixing it and the money that I'm spending on that is not even like how much the car is. I mean like Like, I'm spending thousands of dollars to fix the car, and the car is just not even worth $6,000. You know what I mean? I learned from that. And you really want to drive around with an old car? No, I don't. Do you? That's what I'm saying, preference. I would like to lease a car so I can get a new car every two years or three years 
I get to choose. I get to experience everything that I want to try. And you don't have to go back and forth to the auto shop to get anything fixed because it's new. You know what I mean? But if you buy it. But if you buy your car, what? You're done paying it off in three years and then what? You own it. You're going to laugh and be all like, ha, 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 I don't have to pay for monthly fees anymore for my car. I owned it. But it's four years old. And it's going to have like fixations and you're going to have to fix some stuff because it's getting old. So it's going to cost you more. Plus you have an old car. I feel safer leasing. Two, it's because they kind of take care of you more when you're leasing because they know you're going to return the car. And they take care of you more. Like if you go to Mercedes and you're leasing your Mercedes, they take care of you more. Like they know what they're going to, they know like the deals that they need to give you. They just, they give you like a loyalty thing, you know. It's like they're going to give you something for being a loyal customer if you're leasing. But if you're buying from a dealer or any car dealership, you're like cutting your cord right away to them because you're buying it. You're buying it. You're just going to pay it monthly. But if you're leasing it, it's like you guys are working together. You got to take care of this car together. So it's always your car is always top notch, you know. That's why I like leasing. Mm. The garlic knots are so good. How about you guys? What do you guys prefer? Garlic knot? Do you prefer leasing or buying? Mm. I only like leasing. My dad always, my dad doesn't believe in leasing too. He's really good on money, which I never learned from him. He likes to buy, to buy the cars, not lease. We always argue when we talk about this, actually, like leasing or buying. It just doesn't make sense for me. Driving an old car around, I have to be proud of what I'm wearing or what I'm using. Like, I'm that kind of person. I cannot be with someone or have something that I'm not proud of. Hmm. Oh my god. Okay. The wings are so big, yes. Mmm. <laughs> <coughs> first car that I had was a Chrysler. <laughs> I used Chrysler. Ew.
Just put it this way, life is too short to drive an old car around. <laughs> I can just hear myself and I'm just like so against old cars. <laughs> I am though. You are what you drive around. I mean, I judge people with what they're driving, so. <gasps> Not gonna lie on that. What else? Actually, this is the best part of the pizza, the garlic nuts. So good. Hmm. You know what, guys? I was actually thinking about this last night, too. Like, why do I like nice things all the time? Hmm. I only like nice things. And I thought to myself, it's because I don't own really anything that would not disappoint me, but material things. Because I can't own people and like, not disappoint you. People always disappoint you. And for me, I feel like material things doesn't disappoint me ever. Like, it makes you feel good. It satisfies you. It gives you this confidence and, like, power, I feel like. And I feel like nothing else can do that to me. But nice material things. Mm. And I don't think that's bad at all. That's just how I feel. I had two pizzas and I'm like so full. Pizza is very filling. I proved this garlic knot pizza. The best part is actually in the nut. <laughs> the nut. The guy gave me an extra order of wings. Because he accidentally made two. And, I, and then I thought it was the nicest thing, so I tipped him like $10. So it's like, I really paid for the wings too. But whatever. So nice. Alrighty guys, I'm going to be tapping out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.